What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, I am your host, Rodney, and today we're going to talk about Gala, and more specifically, Gala Games. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, and if you're not, you should subscribe right now and smash the like button. It's free to do, but if you're subscribed, you would know that I've been playing a ton of Spider Tanks lately, which I would say is one of the, probably the best game for Gala Games right now. But last week, I had the pleasure of interviewing and just having a hangout session with Jason, pretty much the main developer of Gala Games, Classic Crypto, I would say the main influencer for Gala Games, and of course the marketing manager, Wasif. And it was a pleasure having him on the show. But once I got to speak to them about Gala and the Gala Games ecosystem, you really found out something different from other gaming projects in the cryptocurrency space. Now it's no secret that gaming is huge in our culture, right? It's just huge everywhere and crypto gaming is a market that's kind of you could say untapped now there's plenty of other you could say gaming studios in the cryptocurrency world but none are like gala games unfortunately in the cryptocurrency space a lot of us have been shielded lots of really low quality you could say play to earn games that are poorly developed not really well thought out and are clearly just a money grab but after speaking with the team it's very very apparent that these guys are true gamers right gamers in the true sense like of course classic crypto jason and wasif and what you can really see from these guys is they care about the quality of the games more than anything whereas like i mentioned before other cryptocurrency you could say gaming studios or games in general those little weird play to earn games they really just care about making money and probably just putting out a quick pump and dump to line the pockets of the developers now their most popular game and the game i like the most is spider tanks and you can see up here i'm a gala gold member and I've I used to play games a ton in high school and since then I've just kind of not been uh, I, you could say motivated to play any games except for the occasional Zelda game that'll drop every five years or so but when I say I've been addicted to this game that is putting it extremely lightly I don't know what it is about this game but it, it it's just addicting to play and of course they have a few other games that are out right now but then they have a ton of other games that are in development they have everything from MMORPGs I mean they have puzzles RPGs, you have like poker, go play, and so many interesting things on the horizon. Now, Gala's been out for a while, and a lot of people in the space know a lot about Gala. And when you look at their chart, you can see that they peaked when the entire cryptocurrency market peaked back over at pretty much the top of the bull run in 2021. Now, they've had a little bit of negative publicity lately because of the whole delisting on Coinbase. Remember, they migrated to a new contract, and for some reason, Coinbase wouldn't relist them. But I don't think that really took away anything from the price project except that you can invest in it uh, you know using coinbase and some other exchanges but like i said before it's really about focusing on the big picture and that's what this team is doing they're not worried about getting listed on the most exchanges right now they're not worried about putting out some cheap you know game just to make a quick buck they're worried about the longevity of the Gala ecosystem and tapping into a space in crypto gaming that, like I said, is largely untapped and no one has really got it right. Now, I'll put a link to this AMA in the description down below. I'll put it at the end of this video and up the car in the cards up above, just in case you want to check it out. It's a cool little hour hangout sesh, about an hour and 15 minutes, where we just talk about all things Gala and you kind of get to know the personalities of these guys. And once you understand what they say and hear that how they speak and just kind of pick their brain, you can understand that they care about the longevity longevity of this project and unfortunately in the cryptocurrency space it's not just meme coins or shit coins that i see as scammy or just here for a good time not a long time it's all sorts of cryptocurrency projects it could be some sort of new blockchain that's supposed to be better beneath it could be the next gaming crypto it could be the next meme coin the space is riddled with a ton of developers that just really don't give a shit about anything except for making money on the hype that is crypto but a few projects are going to stand the test of time and i think that god is going to be one of those cryptocurrencies as time goes on i will definitely find myself you know downloading and playing more of these games as they continue to come out like i said i've been playing a lot of spider tanks lately and i will continue to play spider tanks um, but other games like mirandis is one that uh, looks interesting to me it's a fantasy rpg and these are the sorts of games that i was into in high school games like fortitude that kind of play off the whole tower defense craze that's been pretty much a thing for the last decade and of course legends reborn which is like a, a card 
board strategy game similar to Magic the Gathering and something like Hearthstone. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about the Gala ecosystem? I'm interested to hear your opinion on the whole matter. And let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite game in the entire ecosystem? I'm interested to hear your opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.